When I first heard about involvement, I was a bit skeptical. I thought, great, another online form builder from the world. To be fair, I've tested too many of those. But after using it to build a few quizzes, I changed my mind. But let me tell you first what is involvement exactly. It's a no code builder for interactive funnels, creating quizzes, forms, calculators, and product finders with simple logic. You can embed it into your website and even connect it to your CRM or preferred email marketing platform. Where Involvery really shines is with the integrations. As you can see, it has dozens of them. You can connect it to Active Campaign, Bravo, Airtable, and so many more. All that easily with a couple of clicks from the backend. I have to say that Involve Me is not the cheapest tool. You can, however, pay a little bit less if you opt to commit for yearly plans. And as you can see here, every plan limits the funnels that you can build with them. But if you just want to try the platform, they do offer a free plan that will allow you to have two live funnels and 50 submissions a month and all that without having to add your credit card details. But of course, what you want to do now is to see involve me in action. This is my account. As you can see, I have a bunch of projects. I do love that you can create workspaces to keep everything organized. I'm going to create one for coffee lovers, one of my passions. And then in there, we can start creating funnels that the personality quiz, cost calculator, forms. There are really many options. I'm going to focus today on creating a quiz that matches coffee with your taste preferences for coffee. Involve Me has added this AI option to start creating that that I have never tried before. So I'm excited to give it a go before you just need to create everything manually, which is fair enough and easy enough, but yeah, why not to do it with AI? Then I went into ChatGPT, asked ChatGPT to create me a quiz based on this coffee roaster for a dummy quiz that matches coffee with personal taste. And let's now copy the pro. I think that should be enough. Back into Involve Me AI Creator. We click on continue. And I love that you are asked to input your website to match your quiz style with the website. Let me add it. And we click generate. I am now going to do what I needed to do a few hours ago, which is get myself a coffee. I let AI work for me. All right, so the AI builder from Involve Me has finished. I like actually that you get several styles to choose from. Perhaps this one actually. So I'm just gonna go now and edit this funnel. And now you can see here the editor. And one of the first things I'm going to do is to change a little bit first. I go to funnel design settings and then Let's have it wide actually. All right, so I changed these buttons here to make the quiz have a little bit more contrast. I see that Involve Me has created a welcome screen. Then we have all these questions here that I prompted it to ask. And then there's the screen to capture leads. As you can see, I use it type the email, the name, the last name, and subscribe to my email marketing program. And by the way, this connect directly with my Brevo account. So I have to do zero. What I have noticed is that it has created the outcomes, but they're not great. So I will ask the AI to tweak this a little bit. All right, let's see. Ooh, AI is thinking. Looks like it has a plan. Let's see if it gets it done. Oh, it looks I have to approve this and approve this. So, will it remove the pages? Ay, 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 what am I doing? Is this gonna work? Oh! Okay. These are the new pages. Just need to add the text now. Mm. All right. The AI has created actually all the outcomes I needed. We only need to maybe add the images. Let me fetch those. Let's add the image now so it looks better. Let's drag it in. There you go. It looks a little bit empty here, so I'm thinking perhaps we need to move this section from here to here. And that's it. We now delete this section here. And we have our first outcome. Let me repeat this for all the outcomes, and I'll join you in a minute. All right, I think the profiles are nearly there. I do think they're missing heading, maybe. It's not clear, it's the Mexico decaf. So let's add a heading. 
you can see how easy this is. And we can edit the header here. Our best decaf will be the subtitle. And we can say Mexico decaf. Now it's very clear. Let me now walk you through the quiz so you get an idea of how these kind of works. When the user says lines in our quiz, it will be prompted the screen. It will go to the next question where they select the preference and the third question, the fourth question, and the fifth question. Then the Involve Me system will calculate the answers. And based on those answers, we recommend one of the outcomes that we have here. And how will it calculate the answers? It maps the different answers to the different outcomes. Let me show you how it's done in Involve Me. It's very simple. So you go to one of the questions. This one is about whether you want a caffeinated coffee or not. Then we click on it and we scroll down here where we can add the outcomes to each question and answer. So if you want caffeine, you can have the Indonesian coffee. But if you didn't want any caffeine, if you wanted a decaf coffee, then there's only one it shows, the Mexican decaf coffee. So now we start filtering the coffees depending on what the user has input, right? We would do the same thing for the rest of the questions. We click on the answers, we come down here, and then we map the different answers. Well, you get the idea. Let me finish the mapping of the answers and I'll catch you in a minute. All right, I mapped all the questions and answers, so I'm ready to test the funnel so you get an idea. I go to publish and I click on test funnel and this preview appears. I start the quiz and I, let's say I want caffeine, then I go to the next question. I like balance and smooth flavors. I do my coffee with milk always, and I use espresso machine. Let's add the email, the name and the last name. Click on X, and then it's recommended me the Burundi Gajaro coffee. So there you go. Now a user would just go click on shop and that would redirect them to the websites. Okay, we've tested our quiz and it works. So let's now publish it. Then there's a full list of settings I can tweak. I won't focus on those. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish now. And now I can either copy the link where Involve Me will host my quiz. This is good if you don't have your own website. But what I like about Involve Me is that you can actually embed your quiz into your website using the snippet code. And it's really easy to do. You just have to pick which style of the embed widgets you want. Let's say I want the standard one. That would mean that it just integrates in my website as a regular element. You can tweak these options here, but to be fair, it normally works out of the box. So I just click on the get embed code, copy the code, and then I would go into my website, paste it where I want it displayed, and automatically involve me with load my quiz on my website. That was easy. And that's it. To be fair, there's a lot more that Involve Me can do for you. Maybe we'll do another video soon about it. Oh, and if you find Involve Me useful and you think it can help you convert more users, please open an account using the link we have in the description. If you did like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and see you next time.